All right, so this video is less about uh, this ship and more about kind of the way I came up with this design. Um, I have over 800 hours in the game and probably half of that has been spent in the ship builder and I'm still learning new things. So there are a lot of little details on the ship of things that I've learned over time. This is kind of an update to a, an old redesign of the Wanderwell I did to um, make it a little bit more useful early game, but this, this video is really about the kind of how I put things together, um, things that took a while to learn that you could do in the ship builder, that sort of thing. All right, so the most important pieces of this build are the Tayo Habs here. Um, this design I came up with completely around this Tayo Brig and um, everything else kind of grew off of that. The important thing about the Tayo Brig, um, well, I was building like a bounty hunter ship. I had the Brig I started with and I wanted to make everything, you know, off of that. But the Tayo um, Habs in particular, if you use the A top A, bottom A, they don't have any side snaps. And that means you can control where the doors go. So by putting this A here, even though I have this Stroud Living Quarters 2x2 two two right next to it, there cannot be a door through here. So there has to be a door here. Now this is the Tayo Battle Stations. Same thing, cannot be a door there. So this has to come through here, and the only way to get into here is through here, so there has to be a door here, 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 and because this is a Tayo Top A Captain's Quarters, there cannot be doors here. So there has to be a door here, has to be a door here, and the only way to get into this is through this. So this is how I guaranteed the interior layout by using the Tayo Habs to sort of separate everything. Now underneath, I, I kind of, I'm, I really like these catamaran designs, so I've got kind of a, a line here and a line here with the, uh, the landing bay in between. But then I also have these shielded cargos snuck under here. I think they're, they sort of fit the idea of smuggling and everything, the shielded cargo holds under here under here, just tucked in between the, um, the landing gear. But also these dockers. I'm not sure how many people know that you can flip these upside down and put them here. As long as there's nothing below the landing gear, which there shouldn't be ever, these dockers will work underneath and you can put them one level up. So you have the landing bay which goes to the main level and this goes up to the main level. a nice little way to tuck it in there and of course these are not full width so they go on either side of it quite nicely. So that's a little hidden back in there behind the landing bay. So if I put it on top these weapons won't let it get up that high and I don't want to put another one by one up here or anything like that to extend it up. tucks nicely back in there. And one thing I just recently learned about is these shields. I mean, the, like the side ones and everything. A lot of these shields, you can't flip them around. You can feel, flip this side to side. This kind, nothing you can do. But this kind You can't flip it upside down, but you can have it top mounted or either side. I'm so used to not being able to change the orientation of shield modules that I just recently figured out that you can flip these around. And they're not the best shields, but it's nice to be able to flip them around. 
take a look inside. The shielded cargo holds right here, walk right between them. In terms of the battle stations, we have the bridge up above us. Again, because of using the tiles, I know exactly where all the doors are going to be. This door has to be here. So we got our brig. We got our infirmary. My captain's quarters. Unfortunately, I love this captain's quarters. So the fact that it's a tile, um, all the better. It's very useful for different designs. This door has to be here. Docking hatch. Living area. And our last living area. Alright, so I don't use this design anymore, but those are just a couple of little tricks that I learned while making it um, quite some time ago. Uh, 